Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, and speaking of your God, whatever that may be for you, you've got the Sky Father showing up for you, Aquarius. Um, so you have, um, again, universe, um, supreme being, whatever you call it, whomever or whatever your God is, uh, it, they, him, her is showing up for you. Okay. Trust in the unknown. They're working something out on your behalf. Okay. Do understand that you have universal power on your side to bring in complete fulfillment, emotional stability with the nine of cups here, maybe even a life of luxury, just a time of having all your needs met here with the nine of cups here. It says that, um, this, uh, very turbulent time, this hardship, this drudgery, this scapegoatism, this being taken for granted, this, uh, up and down, this, uh, seesaw, this, hard work, um, being on autopilot, not knowing where the, you would land is over. All of that's done. The fullness of a thing says the 10, the 10 of wands here. So all of that is over there. That is no more. Um, also lesson here. There was a lesson in molding, shaping you for something Aquarius because the universe spirit God is here. It looks like something big is really going to happen for you because you have the, you have the world at the bottom of the deck here. So high achievement, going to the next level, new chapter, a new day, a new dawning is what I'm hearing for a lot of my Aquarius ascension. Also, again, back to the Ten of Wands, um, learning something day to day struggle. But in that struggle, there has been provision. There has been needs met. There's also been a shaping and a molding of your character, the true you, uh, the true self, um, the Ten of Wands can even talk about karmic cycle. Maybe you had to go through this to learn something, to learn how to work your way out of, learn how to continuous put, continuously put in energy, not knowing where it would exactly land you, but knowing that you're going to get somewhere. Wow, I can't make this up. All right. And then under the world card, you have the star card. Wow. Landing in the right place at the right time. The star card talks about being on on the right path. Okay. Um, it talks about healing and true acceptance of oneself too. Um, it also talks about um, balance in terms of emotions, uh, tolerance. It talks about large groups of people, some something, someone, someone's, lots of people looking up to you. The star again, a uh, great achievement, wishes, dreams fulfilled here with the nine of cups. The Wish card says make a wish. It could very well come true for you. It also could be coming true for you maybe within the next week or so, Aquarius. This is fast moving energy with the strength card. You have mastered something. Maybe mastered compassion, hard work, duty, perseverance, forgiveness. You understand that you have all that you need in order to move forward, okay? You understand that true strength is understanding that you're connected to the universe, the sky guard, excuse me, the sky father. <laughs> this is really good, Aquarius. Um, maybe in the next few weeks, you are going to be in a place of taking charge of the Lord card. Or there's someone who's going to come in and take charge uh, with authority. They want to bring something into fruition with you. Ground and energy. This could be you also. Landlord, something about Lord here. There will be victory had for you. A public recognition of your victory. People saw you in this energy, struggling, a day-to-day -day struggle, a year-to-year -year struggle, maybe even 10 years. But now people will see you with balance. Uh, balance, recognition, Completion, success, maybe even help in business or 
help with business, definitely with this reef here, success here, and it's public. Some of these people are for you. Some of these people aren't. And it could be some of the closest people to you because look at how the horse looks at the man with a snide look as if he's happy for him, but he's also not. So you could have some people around you who could appear happy for you, but they are really not. They could be close to you. You are going to achieve something great, something um you have been hoping and wishing for that you had stayed diligent in terms of bringing into fruition. Let's see what this thing is for you. What is the Aquarius bringing in to them? What is the Aquarius bringing in? Okay, I've got two cards showing up. The Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. Okay, so you're bringing in uh, definitely endings to cycles here. You got a uh, judgment here with this 10, 10, 20 judgment. You're looking at all the hard work, all the past regrets, the failures, the success everything you're looking at all of this and understanding that it was for a reason it was for a reason of creating something in you creating something new in you maybe even a new you a new perspective in terms of how you think in terms of uh, how your mind works this was creating um this could even been you know, reshaping, reforming uh, early childhood education, what you were taught about yourself first, and then other people. The five of wands is what you, what's what you're bringing in is the end to tough cycle here, maybe even generational curse um, with the ten of swords here, disappointment being disagreeable or things not agreeing with the five of wands, competition, competing goals, having to have so many irons in the fire, stretching yourself, uh, stretching yourself thin, a, a constant fight because the five of wands talks about fighting for what you want. There will be no inner struggle or fight because you're get you're at a place of understanding this is where you're supposed to be. You have completely accepted yourself. Some of you have gotten astrology readings or you have looked at your astrological charts and you understand what you have to offer to the world. You understand why you're here. You understand the lesson. The five of wands is getting out of that inner conflict with yourself. The competing goals. Going after this thing for that thing. And going after that other thing because of that thing. And then also over here, that thing was good. And that was... When you're in confusion like that and you're just trying and throwing things up against the wall. It's because you don't know exactly where you belong. Some of you are really getting to a place of understanding where you belong. Very nice. The King of Cups coming out. Some of you, uh, this could be in business. This could also be in the arts, creative arts. This could be you having a flair for the creative arts. The King of Cups says um, you've mastered your emotions in the King of Cups. You're practicing emotional um, balance here. You understand now balance, not veering too far to the left or too far to the right, because the King of Cups is directly, well, not directly, but it could be related to the temperance card. And the temperance card talks about taking the middle ground. So if I make you upset, you don't need to get upset to the point where you get in my face, you put your hands on me. We, there is a physical altercation. 
you didn't practice middle ground. You didn't practice balance. And I'm not saying that this is what you were doing, Aquarius, but I'm saying maybe in certain situations, you didn't practice balance, compassion with the strength card. Maybe the offense, you know, offense against you, how you uh, defended yourself, it was overboard. Maybe you have the tendency to go overboard. Maybe you have the tendency to completely shut off or shut out, walk away. That's also not balanced. But it looks like now somebody is understanding their actions when they're met with adversity, when they're met with drama, pettiness, childish behavior. This could be in the workplace. What what do we want to in the reading on for Aquarius? What do we want? The okay, the page of wands. So really, really good news coming into you. Maybe even a new person. Do know it's just a wand. So um, this could be kind of a, a whirlwind romance. Yeah, this could be kind of a. Maybe somebody exploring how far they can go with you. If they can have a new start with you. If they can start over with you. The full card. This is someone who comes in with not a lot of intentions. They can feel like you're the one. And things can go really fast for you. But it's about grounding that energy. The page of wands also says that good news about money. A large sum of money could be coming into you. It also talks about being in a place where you can do what you want to do, how you want to do it, says the Page of Wands. This could be a sexual encounter. Keep in mind, with these two cards, it's not as serious as uh, maybe some of you would want it to be. The Fool card says that a new development, something new is going to develop. You got two cards of new. What is this about? Judgment. Renewal. Revival. This could be something new with an old person. Is the slate clean? Are you willing to be the strength card? Forgive. Move on. Start anew. The universe wants you to make some quick decision about this a snap judgment you know what it was in the past you have the opportunity to make it something different in the present yeah that can make it up the death card you have the opportunity for something to transition make the decision to transition or to end completely be done with but it looks like somebody else has learned lesson two because they've got some karma that came to them and struck them heavily, directly. And now they want to make something right. This person, whomever this could be, they could even feel karmically indebted to you. This person understands now the unjust or the unfair treatment. How they didn't reciprocate. Maybe even somebody wants to. Re this also talks about repayment of money. Somebody wants to explore to see how far they can go with you. If they can have expansion with you. In all areas. In all aspects. If they can have growth with you. If you guys can create something uh, dynamic. Worth having. Yeah, this person definitely feels like you are the one that got away, the Three of Cups. And they understand that when they come back, they have to do something big, monumental with you. Maybe even ask you to move in, buy a dog, buy a house. They have to do something that solidifies the relationship because you are the one that got away. This person sees triumph, victory, success with you in this relationship. 
they want to create, they want to speak to you, communicate to you how they're thinking and how they're feeling. But there's a high level of anxiety of thinking that it's completely over between you and them. And it very well could be, you don't, you don't want this back. And, um, you know, it, it's up to you, Aquarius. It looks like somebody's coming in very, very strong, very obsessive, courageous, though. Wanting to renew, wanting to move past all of the hurt. This person feels like they can't give up on this because they, they put a lot in, in this relationship. You are the woman or the man above all other women or men. They secretly watch you. They don't like the, they secretly want to have a reunion with you, call a truce, but they feel like you're emotionally closed off. They feel like there was a grave misunder, misunderstanding, miscommunication between the two of you. You mistook something. Maybe even there was a third party, but maybe you read too much into it. This person now sees that you are the light of their life. You are the one that they want to be with. All because they took the time to cut out all distractions, maybe all other people. And now they're waiting for a divine opportunity to come to you. Maybe even propose something more solid, committed, stable. Because all of a sudden, they realize that you're worth fighting for. That if there are other people fighting for your heart, they're ready. They understand that maybe they need to show you by way of, I don't know, buying you gifts. Giving you money. Taking you somewhere. Spending money on you. The, their words are not going to do it alone. Somebody is trying to surrender, surrender to the fact that, um, maybe this person is telling the truth. If there's a feminine energy here, which I'm pretty sure there is, it says that, um, in order to have this person, you're going to have to, you know, maybe, um, surrender to the divine, let go. See things from a different perspective. Do the healing work. And it says that um, making this decision to trust and be vulnerable will help you heal your feminine energy. Because your heart chakra is closed. But some of you still want a husband or a husband-like figure or but your heart chakra is closed. Somebody feels like they can't give up on what they started. And, and they've walked away from it all. All that doesn't fulfill them. All that left them empty. They also don't like being apart from you. They feel like something has been taken from them when you're gone. This person feels like the, the mental inter energy between the two of you is you're a like-minded individual. You're a like-minded soul. You guys think alike. It's sapiosexual. I don't know. For some of you. This person has plans of coming towards you. They think of you intensely in hopes that you'll reach out to them. But mentally, maybe even emotionally, you're blocked or there's blockage. Somebody has secret thoughts, feelings of wanting to come back together, be a family, live in the same home, elope, have reunion, celebration, a large wedding, proposal, a baby. Definitely moving in together, creating some structure. They only feel like this will happen in divine timing. They may even be waiting for 
a sign, a signal. This person is ready to do the work to make you fall in love with them again. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I know some of you don't want to hear it. And you don't want this person back. And that's fine. But it looks like a... I don't know. Something big is happening for you just alone. You know, outside of this individual. Um, you've gotten to a place of understanding your place uh, in the world. And what you have to offer to the world. Therefore, um, things are getting a lot easier. The energy surrounding you is easy. You're easygoing. You're not in a state of confusion. And for some of you, if you're still confused about where you should be, where your, your gifts would be best used or you could be of best use, then let that be your prayer. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, please let me know that it resonates for you down below. Uh, do know that I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where you can ask questions. Or you can just come for the uh, collective reading. I also have tarot classes if you want to learn the tarot with me. And then also the Amazon wish list link is below if you want to purchase something for the channel. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.